Have you ever wondered why time seems to fly when you're having fun and drags when you're bored? It's a puzzling question, isn't it? We all experience time, every moment of every day. Yet, it seems to be a subjective concept, one that can twist and turn depending on our emotions and activities. When we're engrossed in an intriguing novel or lost in a captivating conversation, hours can feel like minutes. Conversely, a minute can feel like an eternity when we're waiting anxiously for a pot to boil or standing in a slow-moving line. This strange flexibility of time as we perceive it can make us wonder, is time really as constant as we think? Or does it possess a certain fluidity, a variable nature that goes beyond our daily experiences? Yes, it's a head-scratcher, and it's about to get even more puzzling. But what if we told you that time can indeed speed up or slow down, scientifically speaking? Let's talk about the concept of time dilation. Enter the world of time dilation, a concept straight out of science fiction, but actually rooted in the realm of physics. Picture this. You're on a super-speedy spaceship, zipping through the cosmos at nearly the speed of light. Back on Earth, your best friend is leading a normal life. Now, imagine if you could both keep track of time. You might expect that, say after a year, you'd both have experienced the same amount of time. But that's not what our universe has in store. Here's where time dilation steps in, a key feature of Einstein's theory of relativity. It's like a cosmic magic trick where time can stretch and shrink, depending on how fast you're moving or how much gravity you're experiencing. Think of it as a cosmic race. Let's say you and your friend each have a clock. Your friend's clock is on the Earth, and yours is with you on the spaceship. You both start your clocks at the same time, but as you zoom away at high speed, something strange happens. Your clock starts to tick slower than your friend's. From your perspective, everything seems normal. But from your friend's perspective back on Earth, your clock, and indeed your entire life, seems to be in slow motion. You might be thinking, wait, that sounds like a plot from a sci-fi movie. But it's not. It's a real, albeit mind-bending, consequence of the laws of physics. At very high speeds, close to the speed of light, time does indeed slow down. It's a bit like watching a race where one runner is on a speed-enhancing treadmill and the other is on regular ground. The treadmill runner, despite their best efforts, will appear to an observer to be running slower than the one on the ground. It's not that the treadmill runner is actually moving slower, but rather, their time frame is different. So, in essence, time dilation is the difference of elapsed time between two events, as measured by observers moving relative to each other. It's a reminder that in our universe, time isn't just a simple, unchanging thing. Rather, it's a flexible, dynamic entity that dances to the rhythm of space, speed, and gravity. Let's move to the role of speed in time dilation. Now you may ask, what could possibly cause time to dilate? Well, there's a key player here, and that's speed. Yes, speed, the rate at which something moves or operates. But we're not just talking about the speed of a race car or a cheetah. We're delving into the realm of cosmic velocities, particularly the speed of light which is approximately 670 million miles per hour. Let's imagine a spaceship moving at a significant fraction of the speed of light. According to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, time would actually slow down for the people inside the spaceship compared to those left behind on Earth. This isn't because their watches are faulty. It's a fundamental change in their experience of time itself. This concept may seem straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's a reality in the realm of physics. It's known as time dilation. At high speeds, close to the speed of light, time will appear to move slower. It's not an illusion or a trick of the mind. It's a tangible, measurable effect. For example, if we could accelerate a clock to nearly the speed of light, the ticks and tocks would start to stretch out, appearing to take longer. To an observer moving with the clock, everything would seem normal. But to someone stationary, the clock would appear to be running slow. This is the essence of time dilation caused by speed. The faster you move, the slower time appears to progress. It's a mind-bending concept, but it's been proven time and time again through countless experiments. So, why does speed affect time? It all comes down to the speed limit of the universe, the speed of light. Nothing can travel faster than light. And as you approach this cosmic speed limit, time slows down to prevent you from breaking the law. 
This is one of the most fascinating consequences of Einstein's theory of relativity, and a testament to the interconnectedness of space and time. So the faster you move, the slower you perceive time. Mind-boggling, isn't it? The gravity effect. But wait, there's another player in this time-warping game. Gravity. Yes, you heard it right. Just as speed can bend the flow of time, gravity can too. It's another significant factor that causes time dilation. Now, let's dive into the captivating world of gravitational time dilation. This phenomenon is a result of Einstein's theory of general relativity. It suggests that time is affected by gravity. In fact, the stronger the gravitational field, the slower time passes. So, in a place where gravity is intense, like near a black hole, time would crawl at a snail's pace compared to a place with weaker gravity, such as Earth. Imagine a spaceship hovering near the event horizon of a black hole. The crew inside the ship would experience time at a much slower rate than we would here on Earth. This is because the immense gravitational pull of the black hole slows down time. But how does this happen? Well, Einstein's theory of relativity tells us that massive objects warp the fabric of space and time around them. This warping creates what we call a gravitational field. The more massive the object, the stronger its gravitational field, and the more it warps space-time. It's like a bowling ball sitting on a trampoline. The ball creates a dip, a distortion in the fabric of the trampoline. Now, if you roll a marble near that dip, the marble will move towards the bowling ball not in a straight line, but along the curve created by the dip. This is similar to how gravity works. It bends space and time, causing objects to move along a curved path and time to slow down. So, let's return to our spaceship. The black hole's intense gravity is bending space and time around it. And as a result, the spaceship is in a region where time is being stretched causing it to run slower. This might seem like the stuff of science fiction, but it's scientific fact. It's a fundamental part of our understanding of the universe and the way time works. So if you were close to a black hole, your watch would tick slower than someone else's back on Earth. Now let's talk about time dilation in real life. You might think, this is fascinating, but does it actually happen in real life? Now let's take a leap from the realm of theory into the world of practical application. You may be surprised to learn that time dilation is not just an abstract concept, but a phenomenon that impacts our lives in ways we might not always realize. Consider our Global Positioning System, or GPS. These satellites, orbiting thousands of miles above Earth, experience time slightly faster than we do on the ground. Why, you ask? It's because they're farther from the source of Earth's gravity. And as we've learned, gravity influences the passage of time. So. If these satellites operated on the same timescale as our ground-based systems, their calculations would be off by an astounding 7 microseconds each day. Now, this might sound minuscule, but when it comes to GPS, precision is paramount. A discrepancy of even a few microseconds could mean the difference between you reaching your destination or ending up in the middle of nowhere. To correct for this, the internal clocks on GPS satellites are programmed to tick slower than those on Earth ensuring that despite the time dilation effect, your GPS continues to direct you accurately. Another real-life example can be found in the world of particle physics. Particles called muons, which are created high in the atmosphere by cosmic rays, decay within a fraction of a second. Yet, we detect more of these muons at ground level than we should, given their short lifespan. How is this possible? Thanks to time dilation. From the muons' perspective, Time is passing more slowly, allowing them to survive the trip to the ground. So, yes, time dilation is not just a theory, but a reality that we have to account for in our modern technology. What is wrapping up time dilation? So, we've taken a whirlwind tour of time dilation, a concept that challenges our everyday perception of time. We've delved into its mysteries unraveling the ways in which speed and gravity affect the passage of time. We discovered that as objects approach the speed of light, time for them slows down relative to stationary observers. This is not just a theoretical concept, but a reality that has been confirmed through experiments, like the one with atomic clocks on airplanes. We also learned about the gravity effect, where time slows down in stronger gravitational fields. This is a phenomenon experienced by GPS satellites orbiting Earth requiring adjustments to keep our global positioning system accurate. 
We touched upon real-life implications of time dilation, from GPS technology to potential interstellar travel, further emphasizing the profound impact of this concept on our lives. So the next time you say time flies, remember, it's not just a saying, it's a scientific fact. Thank you for watching this video. PLS like and subscribe for more knowledgeable videos.